Hi, this is Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. I'm going to again share with you the first verse of the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1.1. It is all about beginnings. Uh, we're closing out a year and beginning a new one. And do realize that time is the context in which you meet God. Now, some philosopher being kind of smart alecky is, says time is just one darn thing after another, and it can be like that sometimes. Uh, we can, can sometimes look at a calendar and say, well, that is a long round of duties and obligations and chores that I'm going to do. Uh, I can look at, I have enough math in my head to calculate how many times will I have to do this before I'm too old and I won't be working anymore? How many times will I have this other task to do? Uh, how many times do I have left to do something I really enjoy? Well, that's probably taking everything by the wrong handle. Jesus said that we are to take one day at a time. Uh, we are to assume that the, the events of one day are sufficient for that day and, and uh, do not worry so much about tomorrow. Tomorrow will certainly have the presence and the love and the answered prayer of God, as today will. If, like most of you, if you're starting today uh, looking at this devotion, if this is part of your early part of your day, well, bless you. Remember that God created the heavens and the earth. He, look, he created them as a place for us to encounter Him. That's the great message of Genesis 1 and 2. It was a place where we, human beings, can encounter the divine God and know His love and see His glory. And it's, and it's entirely amazing. The, the, the beauty of this world is a, is a sign put ahead of how wonderful God is. It has all come from His mind, and uh, the best days that He sends to us are nothing with the promise of heaven later. And so go forth, be blessed. Uh, remember, you're, you're here in this world to meet God, and who God sends to you today to meet is part of, um, of understanding His creation and His purposes. And so go forth in prayer and be blessed. Amen.